the NBA in forcing turnovers. They just don't, they, they play good defense, but they don't come up with a lot of steals and forcing turnovers. Rose flips it up there, deflects it. Sprewell, Rose went down hard. And Sprewell ahead. Ewing and Rose ready to go at it. And Dick Pavetta gets in the way. Ewing's got to walk away. And now other players come in. Dale Davis goes at Ewing. It's gone into the first row of the crowd. This is where it can be very dangerous as the crowd gets involved. And there's going to be some penalties handed out on this one, and not just for this game. Ewing is very irate. Jeff Van Gundy trying to get away. Ewing well, pushing him. Well, no Knicks left the bench, so luckily it was down on the far end, but all the other players were on the court. They were just trying to break it up. Were thrown. It, it looked in that one case it might have been. Let's look at the whole thing now. See, Ewing, good harassment. Watch Rose fall down right there. See, he just inadvertently fell. Now watch him trip Ewing. Chipped it up, and now this is when Verbetta got hit in the nose right there. Boom, he caught a punch. And then that's when the other players came in, but these guys were on the court, so Ewing did throw some punches. I don't know if, if they'll determine that a punch or just shoving off Dale Davis, but it was very close. And how many times have we said this, Clyde? The Knicks just can't walk away from these situations. Now, they're not totally at fault. Certainly, Jalen Rose started it with the trip. But the Knicks, you think one of these days would learn just to walk away instead of taking a chance of suspensions. So they're showing it now. The crowd getting uh, uh, the same look that we saw on TV. You can hear how they're reacting to what went on. I agree, Mike. He could have walked away from that. Man. Absolutely. He's got to. And the way the Knicks have had some of their seasons end prematurely because of these type of incidents, you think just once, just once they'd be able to walk away. So what's going on right now is Rose and Ewing offsetting technicals. Rose called for a punching foul, and he's been thrown out of the game. His, they call a technical on So here's the player again. Watch Rose. This is what Rose was upset with right there. He thought Ewing smacked him to the floor. Then he tripped Ewing. And watch his punch at the ref. When the ref runs in there, watch him catch a punch right there. And that's what got Rose ejected. You saw Rose didn't want to fight. When you want to fight, you will stand your ground. You saw him kept backing up and backing up, so he really didn't want to fight. In the game, and as you see, just getting in the middle of it. There's, there's it looked like close to a punch from Jalen Rose there. That's the one that landed on Dick Pavetta. Yeah, he caught his elbow, actually. He ran into Rose's elbow. But at this point, this is where Ewing yeah, has he to walk just away. Walked off, man, right. There's and nothing he, going on. He know he can't afford to get in a fight. So why, why even go that far down there? And again, turning around with Jalen Rose there. Now, there's no excuse for Rose. This is disgraceful trying to tip, trip up a guy. I mean, they both pushed and shoved each other there. You let the play go. Instead, he tries to trip him. And now he starts backpelling. See, he doesn't want to fight. Watch this. See where he's going? He would be out on 7th Avenue by now if they didn't grab him. <laughs>